After watching Scott U. John's custom iPhone dock video, I needed one in my life. But I also want to charge my Apple Watch with all my other devices, something that dock can't do. So I built my own. First, I need to build the dock in Onshape, a website that allows you to design 3D models online. I used the Fusion 360 model that Scott uploaded as a reference to design and build out my first version. And with this first iteration, I remade Scott and Overwork's design in such a way that it's really easy to customize. Let's say you have an iPhone with like no case. Then I have a few presets in this folder. However, let's say you have a case on your phone, or even like a non-Apple device. Shout out to my Android homies. I didn't forget y'all. You can literally just measure your phone. Change your respective variables. And boom. And it's a pretty resilient design too. Let's say you just got the iPhone flip and it's eight inches long. One, two, three, and there you go. Now you have a dock that works with it, I guess. All right, now it's time to actually go out and build the Apple Watch dock. And there are a couple things I have to keep in mind as I go out and design this. First, the actual dimensions I'm working with. I have to make sure that the Apple Watch puck and its uh, cable are actually able to route out through and out the design. Second, I have to consider the fact that I'm 3D printing this thing. That brings with it a couple of manufacturing constraints that I have to also kind of design around. And last but not least, it has to be beautiful. I want to design it in such a way that it lives up to the principles that Dita Roms and Scott and Overwork have all implemented into this design. So with all that said and done, let's do it. In Scott's video, he mentioned Dita Ramses' 10 rules for good design. And I kept those in mind as I made a few different prototypes. Now, for the unaware, Dita Ramses is probably the world's most celebrated designer. He's created iconic product after iconic product and has inspired generations of designers, including myself. And keeping his design philosophy and style in mind, as well as the work done by Scott and Overwork, I came up with this. And honestly, I really like it. I think it's a sleek, smart implementation of the Apple Watch charger. And it isn't some additional accessory or some random doodad. No, it's a part of the actual dock itself. And it provides a really easy, obvious place to mount my watch onto the dock. And it, the best thing is, it fits within the previous print volume. It doesn't add any extra space, uh, limitations, just makes it a little bit longer. And if anything, it adds a nicer, more secure place for your AirPods to go into. I split the 3D print into different components, printing and prototyping the watch holder part separately. And once I felt good about my design and dimensions, all that was left was the final build. We interact with our phones and its accessories every day. Building your own dock is a really refreshing way to make your devices more functional and fun to use. If you decide to build this yourself though, be wary of your printing tolerances. I also secured the MagSafe charger to the dock using a few pieces of folded over masking tape. You'll need some on the bottom too for keeping everything running smoothly. In the description, I have the onshape file for this project, as well as another customizable 3D printed phone dock I made a while back. Except that one doesn't use any wireless chargers. Anyways, with everything all fastened up, here's the result.
Hey, uh, this is me, post editing and filming and everything, and I just wanted to say this is my first real attempt at making a video. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, uh, one of those childhood things, a lot of like weird phone videos taken, but never like a proper one. This time, first first ever attempt learning how to use cameras and edit and color and do all this sort of stuff. Uh, so please subscribe, uh, stay tuned, I'm going to be making a lot more stuff, uh, doing a lot more interesting projects, and uh, yeah, please come along for the ride. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. Oh wait, I almost forgot. If you know, you know.